What is the divine source, Jacob? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. But others have always been drawn here, seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your burden. Of course it is. My father died for this. You can't fill the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it. With or without you. Trinity will be everywhere. I know, but I have no choice. So much violence and death. Jacob's people have been through so much, yet they continue to fight. They are bound by an oath taken by their ancestors. A duty handed down from the past. But I see a people who simply want to live in peace. I believe it's time for them to let go of the past. If I can find the Atlas, it might lead to the Divine Source. I could take it away from here. They wouldn't have to suffer anymore. They could share the burden of the truth with the world. But if all this leads to nothing. I don't know what I'll do.
Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plain passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better. Or worse. Surrendered, and the company men were watching. Had to turn him over. They take him back to the prison. Just the ones they think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's going to ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up near the cathedral. Hmm. Someone. Trouble. Big fucking trouble. I've been snooping around, saving a few files for my personal use, and I found a correspondence thread. About me. Worse, I think I was supposed to find it. The head of security knows I've been leaking data. Probably known all along, and they're just watching for now, waiting to see what my end game is. I wish I had an end game. I'm gonna die just because I was nosy and stupid. I don't even think this channel is secure now. They could have picked you up already. I'm getting paranoid out here. But this Trinity, they are big. And they're everywhere. And the more I find out, the more I realize how badly I fucked up. So here you go. You were right. I hope I get to tell you that in person.
fucking coin. I need your direct order. Just like I have a direct order from Constantine to <laughs> execute anyone who disobeys. Do you follow? Yeah, yeah, Game I got it. No problem. <laughs> Security guards came at night. I knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon. Point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. So what did he say? It's not his call, but he's gonna put a recommendation in for us both. Then there'll be an initiation ceremony. He's incoming! We're under attack! Spread out. Your eyes open.
fucking illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off. Getting lost in memories. Lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift. How I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I, with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done, and this time will be no different. My father is missing. Last night I told him of the invaders and the weapons they have at their disposal. When the sun rose, he was gone. Cyril told me he would be back, but the day is almost done and no one has seen him. I fear he may have done something rash, the old fool. We need him. At this moment more than ever. Thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. 
We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that form could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. Thank you. 
armed woman? That would be cold even for you, Lara. Then again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. That's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! on her way. Kill her and bring me that goddamned Atlas. I don't know what I've gotten myself into here. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I've come too far. Anna thinks she knows me. And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, I might still have the upper hand. An old mural. And those vessels. Greek fire. The Prophet's deathless army. Bombed with Greek fire. They were unstoppable. <laughs> uh, that smell. Oh no. Burned alive. filled with Greek fire. I wonder if it will still burn. I have gone to the forum to hear the prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the church in the west seek to silence the prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world. <laughs> 